What is Big O notation in programming and how is it useful? I was first introduced to the Big O concept back at university in undergrad and initially I found it rather vague and a little bit confusing. Why can two algorithms that run at different speeds have the same O notation? Let's back up a little bit and start from the beginning. Big O notation is an indication of what happens when you increase the amount of input data that an algorithm has to process. For example, if we double the amount of input data, how much longer will that algorithm take? The technical term is time complexity, although you can also use it for memory complexity as well. The core concept is quite simple once you get it. So let's look at some examples. Say we have an array of numbers and we want to read just one number out of that array. It doesn't matter if this is a big array or a small array, this will always take the same amount of time. We denote that with big O and in brackets one. Now let's say that we want to sort the same array from smallest to biggest, and we use a naive sorting algorithm like bubble sort. That has big O n squared complexity. As you double the size of the array, you increase the time taken by a factor of four. And clearly that is a big problem when you have a very, very large array. By contrast, if you use a better sorting algorithm like quicksort, quicksort has an average time of O n log n, which is clearly way better when you're processing a lot of data. So it pays to choose the right algorithm. And I learned this the hard way at university. I cannot remember the details of the task. I just remember that we had to process arrays up to five by five. And I thought, oh, just five by five. Let me brute force it. Bad idea. So two by two worked great, three by three in an instant. When it got to a four by four array, it took several seconds. And when we, I went up to five by five, it basically didn't finish. What went wrong there? Why was the five by five taking so long? The brute force algorithm had O n squared complexity. The time was increasing quadratically with the size of the array. You might think, yeah, but you only went up to five. However, remember it's a 2D array. So n is not five. A five by five array has 25. So not only is it an n, O n squared algorithm, but the input size was increasing quadratically as well. And I discovered this the night before it was due. So I was in a bit of a panic and I am truly grateful to the classmate who showed me an algorithm that could do the same thing in big O n log n time. Phew, save my butt. This incident also explains why two algorithms that run at different speeds can have the same O notation. The difference between O n and O x squared is astronomical when you get to big data so big that how much time in single iteration of the algorithm takes doesn't really matter. Big O notation helps us answer the question, is this algorithm efficient with big data or will it blow up with big data sets like my brute force algorithm did? And that is why big O notation exists and why it's useful.